more content for you guys if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for all your support i appreciate you guys always coming back when i take these super long breaks i literally have not posted a video since december so it's been a minute but the good thing is as you can see by the title we're in a new house we have more space so we can move around we're actually renting this house but while we're here i do want to make it a home so there's going to be a lot of home updates house to home all that good stuff if you're new here, my name is Micah. I'm a wife. I do lifestyle and home videos, all things home. So cleaning, decorating, organizing, you name it, I do it. Shopping hauls, all that good stuff. So I thought I would start this new video off with a juicy one, some home decor that I purchased from like Target, Home Goods. There might be a couple of different things in here, but um, I wanted to show you that. And then we're on like the main floor where like the kitchen is. So I wanted to show you guys around tell you my plans for the house so you guys can know what to expect for the upcoming videos. So I'm super excited to get into it. Um, so I guess we're just gonna go ahead and get right into um, the stuff that I have and then I'll show you like around the first floor. I wanted to do like an empty home tour beforehand, but y'all, it was super, super hectic. Um, if you don't know though, I do work 40 hours a week. I have two kids that are one is three and one is one. So my hands are always full. So that's why a lot of times I let YouTube go because it starts to get so overwhelming with trying to do all of that. And then also being a wife at the same time. Um, but my goal this time is really to at least produce one video a month if I do none. My goal is to do four, but if I don't do, if I can't make that four like once a week, I'm gonna do one for you guys at least so I'm not just gone for months and months at a time. But regardless, I'm here now. I love to connect with people all around the globe. I love to inspire. So if you guys love the things that I mentioned previously, I would love if you stick around, hit the subscribe bell and bell notifications so you don't miss out on my upcoming content. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I do plan on doing more reels. I'm trying to be active on there a couple days out of the week. It's hard for me, I'm not gonna lie, because I'm not really a social media personnel. It might seem like it, but I'm really not. Um, so, but yeah, follow me over there so you can see I do like to like ask opinions and things like that And yeah, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it So let me show y'all some stuff that I got. I got a lot of cute um, fall stems I actually just did a reel with these ones. They're so cute and they're like the color. They're like a brown stem So you'll see what type of vibe I'm going for So these ones were $9.99 a stem Kind of pricey, but they're really cute, so I really love them. I already started to bend them up because I, I tried them in my um, vase already just to make sure they were going to fit and look cute, and they do. I also just purchased these yesterday. These ones are $12.99. It's Queen Anne's Lace Bundle. They have like an orange tint to I mean, not orange, purple tint to it at the bottom, and they're really pretty. I just ordered another vase from Target that I'm going to show you guys later but I think it'll look really pretty on my coffee table. I got a coffee table from Target too. I'll probably put like a um, picture of it in the video, but it's downstairs, it's, y'all. It was so heavy when it came. I was just like, how am I gonna get this upstairs? So I found a way to get it into the garage until my husband can bring it upstairs. But I'll be showing you that soon. And then, so I got all of these ones. These ones were, I said $12.99, so I got three. I also got these one. These were a lot less expensive. These were $9.99, super cute. I don't know if you guys can see it. Hopefully my camera's focusing. So another vase. And then I like this one because it tied in both of these. This was really cute. I think I'm gonna put this in the bathroom though, on the powder room. How cute is this? I got this bowl to go on, on the table. Um, this one is supposed to be like a serving bowl. It was, I can't remember how much this one was, but it's really pretty black, obviously. Um, this thing I got from Aldi's, super cute. I actually got this last year, but I wanted to show it to you guys. I think they have a bigger one. When I went to get mine, I got it too late and I couldn't get the bigger one, but this will be cute to put like um, a couple different things in it. You can do like soups, you can do like a uh, chicken dip, things like that. But I thought this was super cute. This, I was on a hunt for it at Target. It was on a dollar spot. I think it was like five bucks. 
super cute. I think I'm gonna put my K cups in here and do it as like a styling piece on my kitchen. But this is adorable. I hope you guys can see because I'm kind of far back, but hopefully you can see everything. I got these from um, TJ Maxx, they were $12.99. Really cute, I got two of them actually. And it's so perfect because it has like that like amber clearish um, stem and it's super cute like this. I got two of those, the other one's upstairs in the closet. I found these at Target. They're little like pumpkin tumblers. How cute are these? These will be perfect for like a bar cart. So once I get my bar cart, I'll be putting them on there, but they're super cute. I had four of them. I already sort of drank out of one, it's up there, but how cute. And these ones were, I don't even have the price of the bottle. I think these were like $3.99 or $2.99, something like that. They were very inexpensive. Um, everyone, this is the popular candle that everyone has. It's $6.99. It's super cute. Now, I really want the big one, but it's $34.99. Nobody's paying for that. I'm like, how can I justify paying $34.99 for a candle that doesn't smell like anything? It's cute, but it doesn't smell like anything. Anyway, so I ended up going with the smaller ones. I got two of these, so I can put it in another area of the house. I also got this. This thing, y'all, is so heavy. It's $24.99. It's a marble dish by Studio McGee. And look how pretty it is. I think I'm gonna put this in my um, entertainment stand. I don't know, we'll see. But it's so cute or on my coffee table. Super cute. This I got last year, so I'm not gonna show you guys. That's another fall stem. Um, I got these little pumpkins from the Target dollar spot. I think they both were a dollar, actually. Super cute, y'all. And they have these ones, and they have also like a, um, a orange one too, if you're decorating with regular traditional fall colors. This year, as you can see, I'm going for like a neutral tone because I usually do like the regular fall colors because I love color, but I don't know. This year, I've been feeling real neutral. Um, Christmas, I'm doing the same thing, going real neutral. I also got one of the pumpkin spice candles. It smells just like pumpkin spice. I don't really care for pumpkin spice smell, but it's cute. It was $5. Super cute. And I'll probably put this on here with something else. I like it. I got another candle um, from Target. This is Birch and Amber. I also love this one. This one was $24.99, kind of pricey, but it goes with the vibe as y'all can see. It's really cute. Um, and then I ended up getting these baskets from Home Goods. These were kind of pricey. They were $49.99, but I thought they were cute. When I get up, I'm gonna show y'all how I plan to do the layout in here, but I wanna put these behind the couch that I'm getting. Um, and I had kids' toys in here. My husband took them out. I wonder if he could have left them in here, but. I'll have the kids' toys in here in one, and then the other one, I'll probably put um, like some throw, throw blankets in there. I also, so this is the second one right here. And then I also got like some really cute um, towels for the powder room that I could hang in there just for a decorative type of look. This was a throw pillow, I mean throw pillow, throw um, cover I got from Target. I love how this feels. As you can see, it has like the colors I'm going with. It has a cream. Um, throw rug, throw pillow, I don't know why I keep saying, calling it, a, I'm calling it a throw pillow, a throw rug, a throw blanket. It's a throw blanket. It's super cute, super comfy. I think it was $25.99. Yep, $25, y'all. Really nice. So if you haven't been to your Target, make sure you go check it out. Love that. And then this little setup, put this over here because I already had this. Y'all, the pillows, like I found these and I think I found... The black ones in Home Goods, and I found these, like these, I don't know if this is like a brown, I don't even know what, what color this is, but I found it in um, HomeSense. So I thought this would be like a moment, right? Super cute. I can do like a little chop there, do another little chop, and then do my little pillow here. This was also from HomeSense. Um, I can't remember how much this was, but it, it at least was $15 maybe or less. Um, this was $19.99 and then these ones were $29.99. Of course, I got two of each, but I thought it would be super cute on my couch and it'll match like the vibe that I'm going for. I also just ordered some uh, two lumbar pillows from Amazon and then I got a lumbar pillow cover from CB2. So it's going to be really cute to go with the vibe that I'm looking for. Um, one thing that I wanted to say was if you're looking for pillows that actually chop, which I never knew this until I just like, I don't know, one day, one day I came across a chop of a pillow and I realized what it was. You have to look for a feathered down pillow. So you can look on Amazon, just get the pillow inserts 
or like when you go in home goods and not every pillow is a feather down pillow but if you go in home goods go in there and see which ones are the feather down pillows you'll know because it'll be in the chop if it doesn't that means it's not feather down another thing that i love about these pillows are you can you can remove them move the covers on both of them so i thought that was a good perk too so now i can switch out the colors you know for each season and do what i want when i feel like it but yeah so that's all the stuff i got down here so now i'm going to show you around the house it's a mess in here fyi we literally just moved in not too long ago so i'm just taking it day by day to get stuff done i'm giving myself some grace i'm not gonna go crazy um but yeah oh i have another thing too y'all that i have to show y'all i'll show y'all once i stand up oh okay okay y'all so um let me show y'all this is the living room right here we do have this ledge so i just wanted to talk about that really quickly if i didn't have kids i would have pushed the couch probably all the way back or close to the back of here but because i have kids the couch is going to be moved up a lot so that one they can get they can get back there and they can play with their toys and the toys will be hitting behind there but also so they're not like trying to jump off of here because you know how boys are they're, they're ready to go so the plans for this living room, I want to get, of course, a rug. They spilled like bleach on her before we came here, um, the previous tenants. But I want to get a rug, obviously. The couch will go here. I already ordered my couch. You can't wait to show y'all. Um, the, what is it called? Media console will go here. We'll hang up the TV right here. And um, I plan on putting like a little tree over here in the corner. I'm gonna unbox this tree before we're done too so I can show y'all. So that is the vibe for the living room. Um, I'm thinking, I do wanna do curtains, so I have to do each one because there's no, I don't think there's a long thing that goes over here. So I'm gonna do each one and I'll do the same thing on this side too. Y'all, so this is the kitchen. As you can see, we have all these boxes that I've been bringing up that have to go downstairs. These are all recycled. It's a mess, I told y'all. <laughs> this is the kitchen here. Um, I want to get a new Keurig or a different type of coffee maker that's black, but this is going to go. I wasn't going to put it on here, but I am. I'm going to just make it cute, probably put some books and stuff over here and style it over there. Um, I just bought this y'all, but I spray painted it black. I got that from Home Goods too. I really like it. This is another thing that I bought from um, Target. Spray painted it black. But I'm gonna do a little moment over here. Something cute. Our table will go right here, like a round dining room table. I got a light fixture that's gonna go up here already. It's somewhere around here. I think it's right there on the floor. Y'all can kind of see it, but I'm gonna do that. That's another table. I mean, that's another chair because I needed four chairs. Excuse me. Um, over here. So my plan was to do like a buffet at first, put it over here like a buffet type. Um, dang, why can't I talk? Every time I start doing YouTube, I can't talk. I wanted to do like a, you know what I'm talking about, y'all. <laughs> I can't think right now. But I wanted to put that over here just to put my coffee maker and stuff like that on here. But I think I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to post a picture of something I, I made on Canva that I think I'm going to put over here. I think I'm going to do my feature picture wall over here and then do these two modern tiers there and like a little um like a little coffee table in the middle or not an end table rather in the middle and let that be because i want to put like a bar card over here with like two shelves i think that'll be cute in a moment right so yeah that's probably like the move for over here because it's like a different it's an awkward space is weird i just ordered some bar stools to go over here so i'm gonna test them out i got two from target because the reviews is like kind of iffy. So I'll see how they look, see if they the holes match up and all the stuff that people didn't like. And if they do, I'll order the other two to go over here and I think that'll be cute. And then as you can see, I changed up the pools. These are the original pools right here. Sorry, there's toys on the floor, everything. And look how much of a difference that makes to switch up the pool. Like This is like little stuff that you can do when you're renting out a property to switch up the pools just to make it look different. But um, yeah, so that is the downstairs. In the next video, um, I wanna like do the kitchen. So actually start to do like a little bit of organizing in here, or at least put stuff in the drawers the correct way and then finish up. Um, I'm gonna do, finish up the pools over here. Uh -oh. 
we're out of focus. So I want to finish up the pools over here, get that done, get it all decorated and pretty. So stay tuned for that video. In that next video, I should be able to show you guys the stools that I bought. And I'm hoping that this is hung up too. So we'll see. But let me show y'all this plant that I, or this, yeah, this faux plant that I got from Amazon. I want to see how it looks. A moment. Um, the tripod shake. All right, y'all. So Nolan started coming in and he started shaking the camera. This was doing anything, so I had to start this part over. I was like, it was a little crazy. So um, I got this. I was saying I got this from Amazon. It's supposed to be a faux olive tree. Did I break it? Maybe not. Here. It's supposed to be seven foot with the branches at the top, so let's see. Ooh, that's kind of light here, y'all. Struggling again. Okay, there we go. I'm guessing I just set up. Got a little smell to it. I guess I just need to fluff it out, you know, just to give it that look. But I like it. I like it. For the price, $98, I feel like you can't beat it. Oh, you got to turn this too. But I'm going to get a planter. I wonder if I can put this in here until I have to keep it settled. But I'm gonna get a planter, the one from CB2 I want because it looks so modern and super nice. But let me show you how big this is. Look how cute that is. I love it. Super cute, but yeah, I gotta fluff it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this corner. Oh, it's stuck around that corner. I'm gonna put it over here in this corner and I'm gonna show you the planter. I'll probably show y'all it on the screen. Y'all probably seen it a thousand times, but I love it. For $98, you can't beat this at all because the one that looks like this at Target, I think is like $150. So I'll link it down below for y'all. All right, y'all. Well, that's going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you were new and you're feeling the vibe here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. My goal is to do the kitchen in the next video for fall, make it look a little cute and festive. Um, and hopefully if there's other things that come in, I'll show you those things too. But I'll catch you guys in the next one. Toodles. Yeah.